What's going on guys? It is Wednesday, September 12th. And what I want to talk about is being a winner. It's being a winner, being a champion, all right? Being a success. And growing up, I've always wanted to be a successful person. I've always wanted to be a champion. I've always wanted to be a winner. I wasn't always a winner, but I've always wanted to be one. And, uh, you know, I'm reading this book right now called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Highly recommended. If you're not a reader, uh, audio books, that's how I do it. I also have the book. So if you're a reader, take notes on it, annotate it, you know. I recommend very few books in my life. Uh, there's about eight that I recommend, and that is one of them. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is a super good book if you want to progress in your life. If you're good, you're good. You don't have to. But if you're trying to make a change, if you're trying to improve, get that book. Listen to that book over and over again. This is my third time going through it, and I'm still getting nuggets from it. So, you know, as a kid, again, MC, I wanted to be a, a success. They had a successful football program. So I wasn't from that exact city where that school was. But I was from, you know, 10 miles north. I decided to go to that school because, again, successful program. I wanted to be a successful person. I wanted to be a winner. Now, I have an older brother. So if you, if you can relate to this, if you have an older brother, you know that they're always, they're always like the top dog. They're always stronger. They're always tougher. They're always, you know, stronger, tougher. And uh, so growing up, honestly, my self-belief was pretty low. Uh, I didn't have much self-belief. Um, I want I want to film this because I want you guys, especially you guys who have older brothers, or especially for you guys who just want to you know change and want to succeed and you want to be a winner yourself. You know I didn't always believe in myself. You know and that's why I wear these wristbands, the consistency bands. One side consistency is key, but the other side says be certain. The other side says be certain, and what that means is you know be certain in yourself and be certain in who you are. You know, I'll, I'll leave a, a link in the description if you want to get one, um, scfit.com slash Coach Malik. But I uh, wasn't always, believe, I wasn't always like, you know, confident in myself. You know, my brother had a big part of it. My upbringing had a big part of it. I grew up very broke, you know, humble beginnings. And uh, I was always saying, why me? You know, why, why do I have to you know, deal with this? Why can't I have that? Why can't, you know, making excuses or complaining... And uh, as I grew older, and as I'll probably learn more as I grow older, is that complaining and making excuses is never going to help you. It's never going to help progress you. And winners can see that. Winners can see, hey, this guy's complaining about this. Well, he's going to complain about the next thing too, and the next challenge, and the next obstacle. He's going to complain and make excuse. Expl uh, complain and make excuse. And um, you know, I don't want to make this too long. Sorry, going on three minutes now. But what I'm trying to say is this. And I'm talking to you right now. If you want to be a winner, if you want to be successful, if you want to be a champion. You know, again, I went to this school and what I learned from this football program. You know, I've been on four championship teams, five championship teams, three as a player, two as a coach. You know, what I learned is that it's all in the process. That's why I, that's why I preach about it all the time. Because being a champion, being a winner, it's all in the process. You know, people, especially me, when I was younger, when I didn't really have the the belief or the process, it was all in my head. It was all like, you know, oh, I want this, the motivation, the rah-rah. But it wasn't execution. It wasn't discipline. It wasn't until I, you know, went to MC and really got dialed in. Uh, I was on some successful football teams younger, and that's where it kind of built. I feel like that's where the, the self-confidence grew. But if you don't have, you know, if you've never been on a successful team, if you've never been a part of a successful organization or a winning organization or, a, you know, a championship team, well, I want to tell you right now that it's still possible. You can still be a winner. You can still be a champion. But you got to focus on these three things. All right. And again, going back to the book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Number one, you got to focus on self success. All right. Self success means you got to focus on the success internally. You gotta focus on the success internally before you can have success externally. All right, you gotta have the right values. You gotta have the right morals. You gotta have the right mindset. You gotta be perseverance. You gotta have a lot of perseverance. The never, I'm never gonna quit attitude. All right, 
that's number one is self-success. Number two is, I kind of said it before, the, the perseverance. You got to be consistent. You're never going to have, even if you have the right mindset, right? You can never go through something and do it once and be successful. All right, you got to go into practice after practice after practice after training after training after training after mess up after mess up after mess up. And you're slowly, slowly, slowly getting better at it. No painter, no, you know, ceramic artist. Just, you know, think of painting. You don't ever just slap, you know, a painting on there like that, right? You never just slap the brush once and there's a painting. Maybe there's some people out there, but you know, you know what I mean? It takes time. It takes stroke after stroke after stroke after stroke after stroke. There's a lot that goes into it. You put in the work. So those that's number two is the consistency. And then number three is the two creations, all right? And the two creations is a mixture between the end and the beginning. When you begin your journey, have the end in mind. So in the beginning of football season, what's our end goal, right? State championship, of course, championship. In school, you know, what's, what's the end goal? 4.0, or at least the closest you can get it to, you know, 3.5, 3.0. If you're a 2.0 person, I'm gonna get 3.0 or above this year. You know, what's the end goal? That's the first creation, is having the imagination, is having the, the, the creative imagination in your head to make it come true in your mind first. That's the first creation. And then the, the ending is making it come to fruition, right? Is making that actual, that imagination. You know, when you build a home, you have a blueprint first that sketches out everything. When these big skyscrapers, I'm in San Francisco right now, these big scry, skyscrapers get built, you think they just go, you know what? This is a, oh, I want to build a hospital right here. Let's just build a, a, a hospital, all right? You know, the people at Kaiser, you know, they do their thing and they just, all right, let's just build one. No. No, that hospital is already built beforehand. That hospital is written out every single piece. That, how many floors it is. Are, are there windows on this on this side of the, the building? Are there windows all around it? Where are the exits? You know, how how much concrete or how much foundation do we need to put at the bottom to be able to support, you know, these many floors? You know, how many doors, how many exits do we need? How many, you know, doors should we have? How much room should we have for the patients? All of it's built beforehand, just like our goals should be. And a lot of people, I don't think, do that. A lot of people don't write write down their goals. They don't have the, the goals or the, the, the success or the championship already created in their imagination first that's the first step and then from there you create the roadmap and then you execute and then you get there all right so those are the three things all right self-success having the right values having the right morals right to be a winner to be a successful person to be a part of a to in, contribute to a successful organization number two Again, the perseverance, the consistency, the never quit attitude, super important. Because you're going to come to times where you're going to fail, you're going to mess up, people are going to make fun of you. Don't quit. Don't quit. And then number three is the two creations. The first creation is having the end in mind in the beginning, having the end in mind. And then the second creation is after you do all that, number two, after you do the perseverance, after you do the consistency, is the second creation, is the actual fruition of the first creation. All right, that's how you become a winner. That's how you become a champion. That's how you become a success, all right? I urge you, I urge you to every day try to improve something in your life. Maybe it's not everything, maybe you're not going in, you know, improving your, you know, your brain, your body, and your relationship all at once, but just start with one. Tomorrow, if you haven't worked out in a week, Go work out tomorrow. Go work out tomorrow. If you if you work out every day and you haven't talked to your friends in forever because you're a freaking workaholic, reach out to one of your friends. Reach out to a loved one. You know, reach out to a family member. Build those relationships. All right, do something to improve every day. Something. Just be one thing. But I urge you to do that. I hope you got something from. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. Comment down what you found most valuable from that. Um, again, seven habits of high, uh, seven habits of highly effective people by Stephen Covey. Highly recommended. And um, again, I really appreciate you guys. If you guys just leave a comment, like, share, and comment this video if you got value from it. 
I read all the comments, so I'll say hi, I'll say what's up. I appreciate all you guys, and especially if I bump into you and I tell you to leave a comment, still some of you guys haven't left a comment. So leave a comment, guys, if you found value. Subscribe to the channel. I love you all, I appreciate you, and I want success for you. I am committed to your success. Talk to you next time, guys. Mm -hmm.